This is my nephew. He's growing up in Harnof, Jerusalem, and you see that he's getting ready for Shabbat in a Haredi Jewish neighborhood. And this is my nephew right after getting back from praying in the morning for Rosh Chodesh and hearing the Hallel with his father, and you see him singing. It got me to thinking about this amazing story with Rabbi Kenievsky. His daughter tells a story about how Rabbi Kenievsky, after he got married, used to go to his father, the stipler, who was the Gadol Hador, and he used to see him every day. He used to, after davening in the morning, go and spend time with his father. And it got me thinking about the opposite side of the story. The opposite side of the story is something that we all can learn from, and that is that the stipler made time for his son every day. He made time to sit with his son and teach his son Torah every day. And it goes back to the formation of who Rabbi Kanievsky would become. The story goes like this, that the stipler used to make up a song for his son when he was a child, when he was one or two, and in it, for the words, it had every one of the orders of the Mishnah. Rabbi Kanievsky, at two years old, he knew the name of every tractate because all he would do is sing that song. The Torah requires a father to teach his son. In fact, that is as much a Torah requirement as not eating pork or not eating on Yom Kippur or not eating bread on Passover. Even the most simple Jew will not eat bread on Passover. Sitting down with your son and teaching him Torah every day is as important as any of these other Torah and mitzvot requirements. This is something that is mandated by the Torah, but there's a logic to it, right? It's easy to understand why it is. Why would it be? Because the Torah is life and the mitzvot are beautiful and they are a candle. They give us guidance. They help us to live a life close to Hashem. There's a beautiful Gemara in Masechet Peah. Rabbi Zera says in the name of Rabbi Yochanan about learning from logic. And you're not really supposed to use your independent logic because you might go off on a tangent and come up with the wrong answer. You're really supposed to look at the logic of what is Chazal and the tradition say. Our tradition goes back to Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses our teacher. And what does the tradition say about what do we teach a young child? Well, there is a halacha on it, Baikra, which is gonna be Leviticus. The basic start for your son is that in this world, there is pure and impure. There is tahor and tameh. And then there's also going to be the idea that there is holy, which is kodosh, and there is ordinary. There is mundane, that's hulin. So we have these four concepts that are always in play with everything that we're doing in our life. This is the foundational start for what do we teach our children. And that's something that we can all learn from, from the stipler. We have to learn to make time for your son every day, even if you're gonna be older and you're gonna be busier, that it's a Doraita requirement. This is a biblical requirement to spend time with your son every day and to teach him every day. And if we all do that, we will have a better life and a better world. We will have a life where there's more connection among Am Yisrael for Hashem, and that really is part of the purpose of life, is to have a life close to Hashem, and we have closer families, and we have more blessing because we are close to Hashem, and we have happier, joyful lives because we understand what the Torah and the mitzvot are, and we're learning them together between fathers and sons. If you don't know where to start, the best thing to do is to get into a structured learning program, contact a Haredi Orthodox rabbi, and start learning so that you can sit with your son every day just like the stipler did and learn Torah with him and teach him Torah. And your life will have more meaning and it will be a life that's closer to Hashem and closer with your family. Have a great day.